Now I am going to choke this down all the way. And now, see the butter bottle. And now we will start putting the wort into the butter bottle. Now I need to be really careful about the temperature. it all the way down, then, you know, I have a negative effect on your volume. I bet a lot of money that, uh, told Dakota here, this video will end up having music on top of it. It'll cut out my audio and he'll probably talk over top of it. I bet a lot of money on that. You know, unless Dave has a stick in the back on the other side. Yeah, we are at 70. I'm going to ramp this up a little. I'm not afraid of pitching at 72 or 74 or 75. It's not ideal, but I've done it, and I'll be damned if I can tell the difference. should already be, uh... It should already be locked into your brain, but do not hear the phone. Let me use some stars in. If you're curious, this is a India Black Ale, I like to call it. I don't like the term Cascadian Dark Ale. Gotta give some props to Mr. Noonan. It's a uh, five gallon batch. A lot of base malt because my efficiency sucks. 10 ounces of Carafa Tree, um, special, 6 ounces of Pale Chocolate, and 8 ounces of Crystal Chocolate. Topped with, uh, Cascade and Fuggles for flavor and aroma. Not Cascade, but, uh, Fuggles and East Kent Goldings, and, uh, Bittering Hop is, uh, Challenger. Couple ounces of Challenger. Notice no leaks anywhere. I'm worried about this pump getting wet, but thinking that it was a dumb design, but as long as things stay dry, that's fine. This is taking longer than I would have hoped. The keg cowboy may not really want to uh, put this on his website. But damn it. That's the truth. If I had done Bobby M's, these are the... These are the, uh, whatchamacallit, these are the, uh... Barb fittings, which are probably not ideal. The flow does seem to be impacted a little bit when I'm, uh, when I'm, uh, using the, uh, when I'm, when I'm actually taking water out of it instead of water. With water, they flow like great, they have a great, a little bit, uh, higher viscosity, you have to work things to slow them down a bit. I would probably do the Bobby Young method if I were, uh, doing it all over again. And grind down the threads on the, on the male, on the male thread connectors. This part of getting mad at it because I did not run out of volume already. Well, if I did. Oh, I told you that I'm a bad brewer. Killing me. My spark is also pretty slow. Okay, this, this works wonderfully in four gallon batches as well as five and ten. Dry. Uh, yeah, I really ain't much left in there. A gallon and a, that's my half gallon or so of dead space. I need to uh, redo my dip tube and make it a little bit lower, but it is what it is. It's not gonna happen today. Oh, 
No, I didn't. Oh, no. so. Alright, it's a big bear. Oh, I forgot to take my, uh, fair to check my gravity. Little bits of work. And I'm falling out of here. Oh, is that gonna be enough? Come on, guys. Oh, that's all foam. <laughs> Do I even need to aerate this? A little more. 